We already discussed that charges changes the space in its surrounding in such a way it can influence or apply an electric force on another charge or test charge. So for example, we have a source charge Q sub 1. It changes the space in its surrounding in such a way it can influence or apply an electric force on another charge, for, for example, Q sub 2 or any test charge. Even without this test charge Q sub 2, we can still measure an electric field coming from charge 1. Again, if we place a test charge here, for example, Q2, it experiences an electric force due to charge 1 and this electric force is caused by the invisible electric field that the source charge generates. Now visualizing such electric fields is extremely important in predicting the future behavior of a test charge submerged in an electric field. Also visualizing electric field aids us in calculations and allows us to check whether our final answer makes sense or not. In order to visualize electric fields, we explore the conventional rules in drawing electric field lines and electric field diagrams. So rule number one, electric field lines originate from positive charges and extend out to infinity. So for example, you have a positive charge, then you draw its electric field lines originating from the positive charge and extend out to infinity. So since this is a point charge, it has spherical symmetry. So we draw it this way. Rule number two, electric field lines can come in from infinity and terminates at negative charges. So for example, you have a negative charge. So electric field lines come in from infinity, anywhere, something like this, and terminates at negative charges, something like this. Rule number three, if you have a positive charge and a negative charge, electric field lines originate from positive charge and terminates at negative charge. So for example, if I have a positive charge here and a negative charge here, then electric field lines originate from positive charge and terminates at negative charge. And we can also apply rule number one and rule number two. Rule number one, electric field lines from positive charge can also extend to infinity. And some the electric field lines come from infinity and terminates at negative charge. Rule number four, field lines do not cross each other. So going back to our figure, notice that no electric field line crosses each other. And I did not draw it in such a way it would look like this. We have an electric field like this and then an electric field like this. Then suddenly there will be an electric field like that. There's, there should be no overlapping like this. When we try to physically interpret electric field lines overlapping, you could actually calculate for the vector sum of this electric field in such a way they become one electric field. So we don't draw individual electric field lines like this, meaning to say they crossed because they could just be equivalent to one electric field, meaning to say the vector sum of these two electric fields. That's why it's nonsense to draw overlapping electric field lines. Rule number five, the number of field lines is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charge. For example, if I have a charge of positive Q, then I can draw its electric field lines like this. I can represent its electric field lines with, for example, 8 electric field lines. And if I have a charge of positive 2Q, then I can represent its electric field lines with 16 electric field lines. The magnitude of the field also depends on the field line density. So if I try to look at this, notice that the electric field line density at this region is greater than, for example, this one. So in other words, the electric field magnitude in this region is greater than this region. 
Finally, the last rule, the field vector at a point is tangent to the electric field line at that point. So for example, if I want to draw the field vector on this point, then this field vector should be tangent to the electric field line. For example, at this point, the electric field vector should be tangent to this electric field line and at this point it should be tangent the field vector at this point should be tangent to the electric field line that's it whatever point you choose example this one the field vector or the electric field vector is tangent to the electric field line don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates thank you for watching